Hi, my name is Joan Tendler. My mother had an experience with COVID-19 symptoms that has helped me to see the whole COVID-19 pandemic in a very different light. She came down with a very dry, hacking cough. She lost her sense of taste and smell. Um, she had a fever and she was having trouble breathing. So she called her doctor and you may be thinking now that she went to the hospital and was maybe put on a ventilator, but nothing like that happened. The doctor simply took her off of her medication. She was taking an ACE inhibitor for a high blood pressure called lisinopril. Now these are common side effects of lisinopril. Um, and uh, they are actually commonly and lisinopril and other ACE inhibitors are very commonly prescribed um, actually throughout the world. Um, so this is a very big issue. But this happened five years ago. Now today, if she would come down with these, if she was still on lisinopril, she very likely would not be taken off of this medication because they will, she would go to the hospital and be tested for COVID-19, and then pr probably be put onto a ventilator, and then continued to be giving the ACE inhibitor, because all these symptoms will be attributed to the COVID-19. And now it might not be true because um, the uh, physician really had the, the final say in this, but there are uh, many organizations recommending to leave people on their ACE inhibitors. This is our, uh, Dr. Fauci with the CDC, the, um, the American Heart Association, the American College of Cardiologists. So this is a very common practice. But as long as you're giving an ACE inhibitor, which would be feeding the exact same symptoms that people die from, because these symptoms are fatal, um, well, then you can't really get rid of those symptoms. Now, this is, I think you can probably tell, a very hotly debated topic among uh, doctors and researchers. But I've talked to a lot of people and hardly anyone even knows about it. So I put together a lot of information and um, put it in this PowerPoint that follows this first slide. And um, I, I hope you can, you'll take the time to read it carefully um, because I think this is the key to um, understanding why there are this very small percentage of people who will get COVID-19 and some of them even die while almost everyone else just may get a cold or have no symptoms at all. Um, now, it's not that everyone who dies is on an ACE inhibitor, although a great percentage are, um, because there are other, other um, situations that make you uh, more prone to this. It's all about this something called, in the body called bradykinin and a buildup of that. That smoking also does and ibuprofen also causes a buildup of that. So, um, but this is the major cause of what is called here, now you'll see in the PowerPoint, angioedema. This is the underlying problem caused by this bradykinin. Um, so this situation and this information, I think, would be able to prevent these um, actually unnecessary deaths um, by taking people off of their the one drug that is we know feeds these symptoms. So thank you very much.